Envy Bucket Training, which is where we get together with the Forestry Commission and we dip water out of Lake Conway and put fires out on Camp Robinson. It's important for us to be able to work with them and train with them. That way we can communicate from air to ground and ground to air. Normally it's once a year uh, or maybe twice a year. We're out when it starts to get warm and then at the end of the summer. It's a challenge. We, we talk to the pilots, hey, you're, we need to scoot over left or right. And, and it's satisfying, I think, when you actually see the result, you actually put the fire out or you actually help them out and they call back and say, hey, that was a good hit. I think that's probably the most rewarding part of it is knowing that you did a good job and that you helped somebody out. So it's very fun to go out off post and dip water out of a lake. A, a, an environment that you may have not been in before because you ha it's that's real world training so we may not be always dipping at a lake engineer here on camp we may have to go find a remote pond or something to be faster at what we do it's different it's not something we do every single day so it's it's nice to get out and get out of the normal and it's still a sling load which we do quite often training we'll sling load several different things it's very nice to get out and do something out of the norm and it's exciting and people like to see us do it as you can see it's not as big as you would think it is it's a roughly five and a half feet tall which is about the size of me um, it holds 660 gallons when it's completely full it's quite heavy and uh, we have the control box over here that opens a valve at the very bottom underneath here. So when you hit the button, the, this valve will open and let all the water out when it's completely full, even if it has just a little bit in it. It can be difficult if the Bambi bucket starts to swing, which is very easy. If you make small corrections very last minute, it will start to swing. It's almost, it's roughly 100 feet below us, so it's like a giant pendulum and it'll just swing if you don't get it under control and then you don't hit your mark at all.